Obi-Wan Kenobi. Today I'm going to be making Obi-Wan Kenobi with cake. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Ewan McGregor and today we're making Obi-Wan Kenobi. As you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi is one of the main characters from the hit movie Star Trek Into Darkness. Now if you haven't watched the movie, it's about a boy named Percy Jackson who travels to Mordor with his friend Dumbledore to get a ring and put it on a single lady's finger. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. All of the Disney plus Star Wars stuff have been really strong, except for Boba Fett. <laughs> and this looks like the most epic series yet. I was really debating on whether I'd be making Obi-Wan Kenobi or Darth Vader, because it'd be really cool to make a Darth Vader helmet. But Obi-Wan Kenobi is the name of the show, so I have to do him. And it's not a bad thing to try and sculpt Ewan McGregor's beautiful face. So let's get started. So I'm using my PVC pipe system and some styrofoam to create the bottom of his head, so I don't have to use that much cake. I've got blue cake. I chose blue because it's the color of his lightsaber. So we've got my first cake going on. I'm gonna add buttercream in between my layers. And then I'm gonna add my second layer of cake. Now my cakes are stacked, I'm ready to carve. Now to create Obi-Wan, I'm using 10 inch round cakes. I'd probably use six inch round cakes if he didn't have so much hair, but this guy hasn't been to the barber shop in like five years. Where are you going, Woodstock? What's happening? I made these cakes bigger, but I also made a mistake and carved away too much cake, so I had to add some cake scraps back on at the end. So this is our cake so far. Pretty good, pretty good. It looks like I'm making an Elvis cake and not an Obi-Wan Kenobi cake. But I will be making an Elvis cake pretty soon because the movie's coming out this summer. The next thing I'm going to do is give this a crumb coat, place it in the fridge to set up, and then I'm going to add some Obi-Wan Kenobi skin tone buttercream. I use the same skin tone buttercream that I used to create Doctor Strange and I'm going to use the same skin tone buttercream to create Eleven from Stranger Things. Hopefully that's posted soon, but I don't know because I'm having a hard time. Millie Bobby Brown's really pretty and this cake is looking pretty ugly right now. <laughs> so I covered the front of this with skin tone buttercream, put it in the fridge to set up and then I started to carve. And the first thing that I carved was his silhouette. After that, I just used the silhouette as a guide for the rest of his face. So very slowly, very tediously, I just carved the shapes that kind of resemble Hugh and McGregor. <laughs> I think I did an okay job. Also did this so slowly. If I were to do this again, I'd probably take bigger slices out just so that I could speed up the process. But I was really careful because I didn't want to carve away too much. One of the biggest problems I had with this cake is that there's so much hair, so much facial hair, and it kind of hid the shape of his face. So sometimes I wasn't really sure of the shape that I was supposed to be carving. It also didn't help that the images I was using were blurry. <laughs> it kind of blended together his beard and his lips. I really couldn't distinguish that part of his face. Oh, my favorite part is coming up, you guys. Now I'm gonna remove some buttercream so that I can insert some gumballs for his eyes. Yeah, oh my gosh, I could do this all day, it's my favorite. Now I used skin tone buttercream to create most of his hair, but when I was getting closer to the end, I used dirty blonde buttercream to finalize the color. I just added it to the back, sculpted a little bit of texture into it, and then blended it to the front with a paintbrush. Again, I don't like using paintbrushes. I was very careful to make sure that none of the bristles came off. Also, thank you for telling me about the silicone mascara brushes. I'm gonna be using those from now on. They haven't arrived yet though. Now, after I added the dirty blonde buttercream to his beard, I used luster dust, food coloring, and magic sauce to finish my cake. I started with his eyes. We got magic sauce and food coloring to give him some piercing blues. A lot of luster dust to just contour the sides of his face. We got a little bit of red lipstick going on with some red food coloring. More contouring because I messed up a lot. <laughs> Contouring up so much. And then at the end, I realized that the dirty blonde actually wasn't dark enough. So I added a thinner layer of brown to give this a darker, more realistic look. And then my Obi-Wan Kenobi cake was complete.
gosh, I love it. I just love the luster dust, man. The luster dust makes this look so real. I love the texture on the hair. Buttercream, man. Who knew? And I love the expression of his eyes. He looks like he's really gonna fight for Luke and Leia. Now I do have problems with this cake. I think his head is pushed out too much. I kind of pushed my head out a little bit because I got a weak chin, but Hewn McGregor doesn't. Also, I don't think his face curves enough. And I think that's because I was using the front of his face and a side profile for most of this sculpt. And it wasn't until later that I started to use like a three fourths angle um, so that I could really understand the sides. So the next time I create a character like this, I need like three or four different images instead of two. But you know what? It looks pretty cool. It doesn't look exactly like Hugh McGregor, but it looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi, man. And this like tunic he's got on. Oh my God, it's just so cool. I'm really excited about Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh my gosh, I've got such high hope. The Grand Inquisitor's in the show. Now, let me know in the comments which Star Wars character you'd like to see me turn into a key next. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Bye. So this is my attempt at turning Obi-Wan Kenobi into a cake. Now I'm starting with blue cake because his lightsaber's blue, hopefully. I checked multiple times and it says that it's blue, but I'm still kind of worried that it might actually be green and I'm wrong. <laughs> I gave this a crumb coat and added the same skin tone buttercream that I used for my Doctor Strange cake. I'm going to be using it on my Stranger Things 11 cake as well. I made way too much of this color. <laughs> so it's going to be used for a ton of upcoming cakes. Now I let my buttercream set up and then I started to carve Obi-Wan's silhouette. There's going to be a lot more carving, so stay tuned for part two. Now, creating my Obi-Wan Kenobi cake was kind of challenging because this fool's got a lot of hair. He looks like he's never seen a Fantastic Sam's before. And you know what? I have a Supercuts coupon that I could have given to him, but he's not a real person. <laughs> creating all this facial hair with buttercream, it kind of kept me from understanding the shape of his face. So when I was carving this, I wasn't sure how much of my sculpt was accurate. I did a lot of work on this and I didn't want to risk mixing colors. So I did most of his facial hair with skin tone buttercream and just blended it with dirty blonde towards the end. Now follow for part three. Luster dust, magic sauce, and food coloring is how I finished my Obi-Wan Kenobi kink. I gave him some piercing blue eyes, some nice lips, and a ton of contouring to help balance out all the parts of his face that I didn't sculpt correctly. <laughs> the contouring is working really hard. Um, and when I finished all of that, my masterpiece was complete. I give this like a 7 out of 10 because it looks like him, but it's not exact. But you know what? I'm so proud of it. I made an Obi-Wan Kenobi cake to celebrate the new show. I love Star Wars. I love the prequel trilogy, even though I don't really like it, but also I do. And I love it. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> 15 years have passed since the premiere of Revenge of the Sith and I'm kind of curious to see if the show takes place 15 years after those events. It's going to be interesting to see how that time has changed the characters. The scale of the show looks so grand. I, I just can't wait to stream it. I'm editing my Obi-Wan Kenobi footage and I was trying to figure out what was wrong with this clip. Uh, and then I realized that I was only pretending to contour his face. <laughs> What happened to all the actual footage? I, I really don't know. So my Obi-Wan Kenobi cake only kind of looks like Hugh and McGregor. So if I change the title, this could just be a totally different person. Maybe for Easter, I'll post this and I'll just tell people that I made a white Jesus cake. Hey everyone, happy Easter. Today we're celebrating Jesus. Is that the cake that's risen? Nope. It's Jesus. <laughs> Oh,